Hey everybody, this is Brett here with the Tuning School and today I'm going to be talking to you about some simple functions with HP Tuners and uploading and downloading a tune file. We're also going to go over how to update your tire size. So the reason why you're going to want to update either your tire or your gear ratio is when you put bigger tires on your car. And this is really common uh, for truck guys. They're always putting bigger tires on their car. But it could uh, happen for just you normal performance guys as well because you'll put drag radials on. They're going to have a, a overall bigger diameter, uh, so on and so forth. And then also it's very common to update your final gear ratio. Kind of helps you accelerate a bit, little bit faster, maybe overcome some stuff you're having to deal with on the with the engine and some of the lower end. So when you're updating this stuff, what it's effectively doing is it's throwing off what the vehicle uh, can calculate as speed. It calculates speed most of the time on revolutions of the tire. And so now it's taking more revolutions to go the same distance that it did before. And it's gonna be rotating slower at that same output of the engine. So because of this, it's gonna throw off not only your speedo, but it's also gonna throw off some of your transmission functions as well. And by throwing off those transmission functions, you might get some weird gear shifts and it might not quite work the way it's supposed to. So it's really important to really update your gear and your, rear, uh, and your tire uh, as well when you do those types of modifications. It is possible to kind of fudge it and get away with it if you haven't made that much of a change, but it's always a good idea to just go ahead and do it anyways because it's something that's fairly easy to do on your own at home. All right, so it's really important that you guys always save as when you're saving these files when you're pulling them from the vehicle. The reason you kind of want to do this is when you first pull a stock tune file, there might become a time when you've made a ton of changes, you've you had your hands all over the tune file and it's kind of gotten a little messed up here and there and so you just want to start from scratch. You can always fall back on that stock tune file if you did a save as. Now it's not only important for your stock file, but it's important as you're tuning in general. At every step of the way in the process, if you do a save as, then you're gonna have a list full of tune files. And if they're all named, something that you can remember where you were at in the process, then you can go that tune right there worked really well versus some of the other ones didn't as much. So it always gives you something to fall back on. It leaves a bread trail and that's kind of what you guys wanna do. Now I'm going to show you guys where exactly in the tune file you're going to do this and how exactly you're going to do it. All right, so here we are uh, inside. Uh, actually, it's an 04 Silverado. Uh, and what we're going to do here is we're going to quickly go through how to download the file, make a change, and upload. So uh, when you first start up, you're going to open up your VCM editor. Uh, it's the little one with the wrench. Uh, when you've opened it, you're going to come to this screen. Now, uh, up over here, these are your upload and download buttons. So that's this one is how you write the new file. This is how you read a file. One's green, one's red. Because I don't have a file open currently, the only thing I can do is read the vehicle. So you're going to go ahead and put the key on. You're going to click read. And then you're going to click begin. This is the longer of the two processes. Uh, it's gonna take it a couple minutes and then it will go through its processes and start downloading. Something to keep in mind, um, if you were scanning the vehicle before you did this, um, you wanna keep in mind that you have to disconnect the scanner before really reading or writing to the vehicle. And the reason for this is uh, the computer the car's computer can't really have two lines of communication going into it. And when it sees the scanner connected, uh, it can't actually use uh, the CAN bus to upload a file into the computer. So it's a problem a lot of guys have actually. And if you just hit the little black lightning bolt every time you're done with the scanner, then you won't have that problem. Now, this is the less crucial uh, of the two. When you're reading the vehicle, uh, you're not going to really have any sorts of problems uh, because it's just taking the information that's there uh, and displaying it on the computer. Now when you're riding a vehicle, it's really important that your laptop has a good charge and that the car battery has a good charge. The reason for this is before it writes to the vehicle, it erases what's there. So it erases what's there and then starts to write. When it erases what's there, if you if something crashes in the middle of while it's trying to write the new file, there's a very, very, very high chance that you're going to ruin that computer. There's a couple of recovery mode options that you can try. 
Um, but more often than not, if a power source either with your laptop or your car battery fails in the middle of an upload, you will have a problem. But like I said, the download of the original file is a little less important because it's not really deleting anything. It's just kind of taking what's there and saving it onto my laptop. So uh, just always be aware of that and also be aware of kind of where your HP Tuners unit is. You don't want to pull the USB uh, out of the laptop or out of the HP Tuners cable or kick the, uh, the HP Tuners cable out of the OBD2 port, anything like that. Just some things to be aware of while you're moving about the car and working on it. And then after it finishes this, it's just going to validate uh, the integrity of the read. It'll be good to go. One last quick little bar here. So it says uh, the read was completed in four minutes. Now, uh, you get to this point and it's going to want you to save this file. Uh, so what you can do is, is I'm just going to save mine here on the desktop. Uh, you always want to save this, this initial download as stock files, like I said before. So you can go back to this at any point if you so need to. Tune. So we're going to do 04 Silverado. <clears throat> we're going to click save. So now that we have the tune file open, we can go over here to Speedo, and this is where we're going to change our gear and tire size. Uh, and specifically, we're going to focus on the tire size right now. So if we go into uh, Tools, they have a unit conversion, which uh, has a tire size calculator, and that helps you take your tire size or your new tire size, and it calculates it down into a number uh, that re resembles this here. Um, so uh, theoretically, we'll say that so this this truck has a 275, and let's say that it's got a 55, uh, 20, which is not exactly what the car has, but it's just as an example. So uh, this is your new tire height here. Uh, it's a 31.9. So what you do is you go over here to tire size. You enter 31.9. one. Point nine. Now uh, you always have to enter something into the gear ratio. Uh, box or it will not actually take the change it'll it'll give you an error um, so if you haven't changed the gear ratio just put the same that's already there 342 and then click commit and then you can see it changed it down here both down here and up there and then if you look at the top up here it now says that the file is unsaved uh, and that's good you wanted to say that that means you made a change and you need to save the file so we're going to go over to file and you never want to click save. Don't ever click save. Like I said before, you want to leave yourself a bread trail and you don't want to write over this stock file. It's really important that with this particular stock file, you don't ever click save. Uh, you're going to lose the stock file that way. So we'll do save as. We'll do new tire size. Uh, and then we'll click save. So now that we've done this, we have the ability to read to the vehicle, uh, or write to the vehicle, excuse me, uh, right here. Now, something to keep in mind, you can most of the time always use this button right here. Sometimes, whenever you've changed anything in this operating system tab, if you've updated the operating system in any way, you will need to do a write and tire. To do that, you go up to flash, and you go write and tire calibration. Now, this takes a little bit longer. Uh, it goes in a little bit more in depth into the writing, uh, where it writes the entire tune rather than just the changes you've made. But it's important to get your changes to stick for an operating system upgrade to do this this way. Uh, we didn't change anything in the operating system, so we're not going to do it that way. We're going to do write calibration only. So turn your key on. Uh, make sure your scanner is not connected, obviously. And then uh, you go ahead, click uh, flash, and then click begin. Uh, this will take a little bit less time than reading it will. It's be about a minute, 30 seconds, two minutes. Uh, it'll go through its processes and get started. Actually, it's way less than that. We, uh, we're looking at like 18 seconds this time around. <clears throat> and then something that's really important, once this finishes uh, and I hit close, you just want to make sure that you turn the key off before starting the vehicle. Uh, and it's always a good idea to open the door because it's going to break the CAN bus on a lot of newer vehicles. Older vehicles is not as important. I, I do it anyways just as a precaution because if you ever notice when you turn off a car, the lights on the dash don't go off till you open the door. And it's because it's, it's, it's still got power to things. It's still powering things. There's, there might be still some communication on the CAN bus. So you really just want to make sure that you turn the key off and then you open the door uh, and wait for a couple of seconds and close it. And then you can go ahead uh, and start the car and see how it runs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you took something away from it. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at 727-264-8875. If you have any more questions about what we offer as far as tuning solutions, feel free to visit our website. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.